Hi, we're really excited this year to introduce our new look root book. Um, I have uh, Dave with me here, and actually Dave has uh, redesigned our whole root book. Uh, Dave, can you just tell me a little bit about the difference between what we have here and the older versions? Well, the, uh, the, the, the older versions were um, text-based, mm. uh, which if you're on the move, you're in a vehicle, it's actually quite hard to read. Um, this version is pictorial, um, so you look, you're looking at a diagram, it shows you your, your next junction, um, the distance columns have also changed as well. So just tell me about the direction. You have direction here under tulip arrows. So the little black dot. You have, you have tulip diagrams, which are, they're used around the world in rallying. Uh, literally, you're coming from the black dot and you literally just take the direction of wherever the arrow is pointing, be it a T-junction left or straight on at a roundabout or whatever, whatever the arrow tells you to go, you're coming from the bottom, from the black dot. Brilliant. And in the next uh, column here, I actually see there's a lot of pictures as well, things like roundabouts and giveaway. But we also have the numbers underneath. The, the numbers will be the turn numbers that have been used in previous years in the root book um, and will, will um, still be of use. Um, the information column um, gives you all the signposts um, and the signposts as they appear on the road. Um, so you know you're at the right junction. If it's a roundabout, it'll tell you which exits to take it off. It'll also give you other information, as in the railway crossings, pedestrian crossings, traffic lights, that sort of thing. Yeah, and even in the previous years, we've had information in there, uh, the likes of uh, dangerous junctions or bends yeah. and stuff, and that's all been that's left all, in this spin route book. Yeah. But uh, tell me about the first column then, if we look at the distance covered. The first column the, the, is your total distance, is the cumulative, so as you work down, uh, it obviously um, increases until you get to the end of it. The second column, the in interval distance, is the distance between each junction, um, which is handy because you know, right, we've come 5k, so we should be at this junction. Um, so it gives you um, a handy reference as, as to your distance between the junctions. The last column, which is the distance to go, uh, which I think the team should find handy, is from the start. It's, it's a countdown to the actual next time, uh, time stop. So that they will know if they come to this juncture, we only have 78k to go, or are we 15k to go? And they can, they, they can use it for planning. There's also little black numbers in, I see here in the, the tulip arrows, and I think they'll be quite handy if anybody gets lost or has difficulty with anything, if they call back to headquarters, is that well, they, the idea? They're built into the, the software we're using. Um, it's, it's just the number of the actual junction. So as you say, Alan, if, if someone does get lost, they can call in and say, look, we're at, junction number 11, um, we're not sure, do we go right or do we go left? Uh, yeah, or if there's an issue out yeah. there, they can refer back to that. That's absolutely fantastic. Dave, I have to say, this is a, an amazing book, so thank you so much for putting that together. I know how many hours it's actually taken to do, and I appreciate it. So this is the uh, new root book we will be using going forward. We'll be sending it out to everybody by email, and you'll get an opportunity then to go down through it and practice it, and ask us any questions if you have any issues with it as well. Dave, thanks a minute.